Udah dogo, kan udah jam 6 Kakak sini dulu sebentar, kamu jangan ngetegang gitu Kita tunggu dulu ya Oke, okay. hai Mbak Tina, Cipina Hai everyone, thank you um, First of all, I want to say thank you for all of you who really enjoying my class today And aku mau say hi dulu, halo semuanya yang udah ikutan kelas Udah mau dikasih kita hari ini And then, I also want to say hi to my friends outside Indonesia That also expecting this class Eddie, Kat, Christy and Christina and um, Sarah and all of you who want to join my class today. So today's class is a Hatha Club class. So we're going uh, aku berharap, so I hope you, all of you already preparing your spot. The spot should be against the wall. So you need the wall to uh, support your practice today and also you need strap. Where's our strap? We need a strap. Yoga strap. So if you have yoga strap with you and repair it and also if you don't have strap at all then you can use small towel jadi boleh pakai yang kecil ya kalau misalnya kamu gak ada strap di rumah this small towel untuk kamu atau kamu ya oke so um, if you have small towel I need you to grab from the tip of your towel and then to other tip of your towel like this jadi di ujung sama ujung jadi panjang gini ya jadi jangan pegangnya jangan kayak gini kalau gini kan pendek kalau gini if you grab like this it's gonna be more uh, it's gonna be longer than before okay you know what I'm so nervous <laughs> this is my first and um Today's class is um, yoga. It's more like yoga world class. Um, we have like a signature class at, at Gudang Gudang Yoga Studio, and I want to bring it here in uh, life for all of you. And uh, today's class is about the heart opening, shoulders flexion, and hip extension. And the the pose that I want to to give you the very last pose is actually Urvada um, Durasana or Kayang. But you can always do other other thing progression after you do Urbana Durasana. So you can also do progression into headstand or headstand to Urbana Durasana for challenging one. Or you can also do Picha if you like. So you can do everything after you do this practice for your own. So let's just get started. Oh, by the way, this is my husband. Uh, his name is Budi. And he's called Cartono. He's Budi Cartono, of course. So, This is already ready for today. Let's find your seat. Semuanya duduk senyamannya aja. So you can sit like me. Let's sit over your heels into Vajrasana. Or you can just sit in Sukhasana. Do what you want to do today. Like do your best. And then let's start with centering for a moment. Rest your hands over your thigh. Your palms can be face up. Down and keeping your ear, your shoulders, and hips in one line vertically. And if you have your wall with you, actually you can sit against the wall. So you can sit against the wall and make sure that your shoulders are against the wall and your upper back, uh, upper back and middle back are against the wall. And make sure that your low back isn't touching the wall. So keeping your spine safe in a neutral position. And then soften your face your eyes and you can gently close your eyes for a moment here. Sit there for a while and start to bring in all of your awareness and all of your attention towards each part of your body. Right now. And then 
again. Now cross your legs first into an easy sit-up position for a moment here before we start the flow. So get your strap. Perfect. Everyone get your strap or your towel. So Woody will use his strap and I'm going to use my towel here. So you will get the tip of your towel with other hand, uh, with one hand, other hand grab the other tip of your towel. And lift your arms up to the ceiling. So try to lift your arms up and then keeping your wrist staying in the neutral position. With inhalation, lift your shoulders up towards your ear, towards your neck. And with exhalation, bend the body to the right. One last 
comes up into Adha Mukha Shwanasana. Keep your sole of the foot against the wall, guys. So push your sole of the foot against the wall. Push the palms away from the floor and the eyes stay stuck. Stay there for a moment in five breaths. Four more breaths. Spread the fingers wide. Three more breaths. Two more breaths. One last. And back to plank pose again, uh, everyone. So stay in plank. And then slowly lower your knees onto the floor. Knees back onto the floor. Keep your sole of the foot against the wall. Jadi kalau kaki masih tempat tempat ya. And then step your right leg to the front. Step your right foot to the front. Keeping your ankle and your knee in one line when you do this. Push your left foot back. Then lift your arms up to the sky. Arms reaching up. Come up into Anjali Asana. As you exhale, lower your right hips down to the floor. But you push your left hands back towards the wall behind you. Keep your abs working. Remember about the deep core. Your pelvic floor active. So you hold your feet. And then your corset muscle working there. Inhale, stay in Anjali Asana. Exhale, lower your hands back onto the floor. And step back into plank pose again. So everyone go back to plank, push your heels back, keeping your shoulders over your wrists, keep the hips as high as your shoulders, stay there in three, two more breath, one last, back to Adho Mukha Shwanasana, as you breathe out, stay in Adho Mukha Shwanasana, Shwanasana for one more breath here, and then from that position, plank pose again, inhale, lower your knees back into the floor, step your left leg to the front, kaki yang kiri ya, sekarang step to the front, push your right toes back towards the wall behind you, sink down your left leg is even further deeper, raise your arms up and high to the sky, into Anjane Asana, stay in Anjane Asana, and as you breathe out, sink down, sink down more, stay there in the floor, Keep done keeping your knee and your ankle in one line. Three. Listen to your breath. Two more breaths. One last. Lower your hands back onto the floor. Exhale, step back. Plank position. Come back to plank. Keeping your shoulders and your wrists in a line. Stay in two more breaths here. One last breath. And back to Adamukashwana Sana. Okay, so stay in downward facing dog for three more breaths in Adho Mukha Shwanasana. Two more breaths in this position. One last breath. Now from there, walk your feet to the front. Exhale into the Tanasana. Walk your feet forward. Inhale, look forward. Extend your spine out of the Tanasana. Exhale, fold down. One more time. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Gaze forward. Exhale, hold down again. Uttanasana. Now inhale, lift your arms up. Lift your body up. Raise your arms up for the Namaskar. Then exhale, stand up into Tadasana. Here. Now from this position, let's do a really easy flow. Inhale, reach your arms up again. For the Namaskar. Two deep breaths. Exhale, hold down again. Inhale, look forward, Ardha Uttanasana. Now exhale, step your left leg back. Try to keep your wall again. Touch your wall again, finding your wall. Lower your left knee back into the floor. Keeping your ankle and your knee in line. Inhale, reach your arms up again. Come back up into Anjana Asana. Reach your arms up. Exhale, hands down. Step back. Plank. From plank, back to Adho Mukha Shwanasana. Stay in plank again. Inhale, back and back to plank. Your abs strong and active. Exhale back to Adho Mukha Shwanasana in two. Inhale back to plank again, shoulders over your wrist. Exhale Adho Mukha Shwanasana in three. Inhale plank again. Exhale lower your knees back into the floor. Step your left leg to the front, to the side. Inhale raise your arms up again back to Anjali Asana. Exhale sinking your left leg back into the floor. Keep your abs strong and active. Lower your hands back into the floor. Inhale, lift your right knee up. Then exhale, step your right foot to the front. Now keep your feet positioned there so you don't, change, you don't move too much. Inhale, look forward, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, look 
form can always bend the knees in your Uttanasana. Inhale, reach your arms up again. Lift your body up for the Namaskar. Exhale, set up into the Tadasana. Let's do it again. Inhale, reach your arms up again. Exhale, fold forward again into the Uttanasana. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana, gaze forward. Exhale, this time step your right leg first. Kana Dupa to Blanca. Touch the wall, Sudo Tempo Vya, lower your knee down. Inhale, reach your arms up again. Exhale, lower your hands back to the floor. Step back, leg. Inhale, back to Adho Mukha Shwanasana again. Exhale, plank again. In one. Inhale, Adho Mukha Shwanasana. Exhale, plank again. In two. Inhale, Adho Mukha Shwanasana. Exhale, plank again. In three. Now, inhale, knees down. Exhale, step your right leg to the front. Kanan to the Good job. Inhale, reach your arms up again. Back to Anjamayasana. Exhale, sink your fist down even further and further. Inhale, stay in Anjamayasana. Exhale, hands down. Step your left leg to the front again. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, Manir Uttanasana. Inhale, lift your butt up again. Earth Bhana Maskar. Exhale, stand up into Uttanasana. And always repeat in this flow for two more times or three more times. So you get to move on here. Reach your arms up again. Inhale. Now this time, exhale. Turn your palms face the front. Jadi alukan telapak tangannya hadap ke depan. Palms face the face the front. Then put your left hand towards the right side of your head. Tangan kiri bawa ke sisi kanan. Yes. Now from this position, inhale. Open the chest. So you can break the arms away from the head. Move the arms away back away from the back side. Your abs strong and active. Inhale, hold on to this position. Then exhale, fold forward again in your Uttanasana. Release the hands from your elbow. Inhale, look forward, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, step your left leg back again. Moving your wall again for a little bit there. Lower your left knee back into the floor. Inhale, reach your arms up again. Back to Anjamayasana. Now with exhale, come and see if you can see your hand like Do the same thing. Palms face the front. Inhale, angkat bahunya, elevate your shoulders, and then do retraction as you get the towel and strap. Reach your arms back as far as you could, and keep your eyes facing the front. Push your left foot back, exhale, sinking your right foot down even further. Keep your abs strong and active here. Now you can hold here, exhale, hands down, step back, leg press. Inhale, knees down first, lower your knees down, exhale, chest down. Lower your chest onto the floor. Now from here, slide your feet to the front slightly until your feet pointed. Hands beside your ribs or your chest. Roll the chest back again. Shoulders up, elevate, retract. Inhale, lift your chest up. Open the heart, open the chest into Bhujangasana. Keeping your toes pointed back. With exhale, chest down. Push back into plank. Finding your plank again with the wall. Back to Adamuka Shwanasana. Now step your right foot to the front. Lower your left knee back into the floor. Inhale, reach your arms up again. Back to Anjamayasana. Now keep to the same side of your arms. Left hand to the right side of your arms again. Do the same thing. Palms face forward. Then move the arms away from the head. So before you move the arms away from the head, do elevation, retraction, retract your scapula, and reach back. That way you get in with our towel or strap. Sink down your hips more. Keep your belly away from the right side of your thigh. And with that, exhale, lower your hands back into the floor. Lift your left knee up. Inhale, and exhale, step forward. Uttanasana. Inhale, look forward, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, the fold, Uttanasana. Lift your belly up again. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Then exhale, Tadasana. Let's do the other side. Inhale, reach your arms up again. Now this time, put your right hand to the left side of your elbow. Di tangan kanan, di kiri, ganti tangan ya. Move the arms away from the head. Look forward. Stay there. Inhale, keep your head strong and active here. Exhale, keeping your arms away from the head. Inhale, hold on to this position. Exhale, Uttanasana, variation. Look back. Release the hands from your elbow. Inhale, look forward, Ardha Uttanasana. And this time, step your right leg to the back. Stay there. 
Sink down. Again, lower your right knee back into the floor. Again, inhale, reach your arms up. Good. Exhale, put your right, uh, put your left hand up. Right hand to the left side of your elbow. Now, left hand to the right side of your elbow. Second side. Okay, now from here, move that, the arms away from the head again. Inhale, sit. Exhale, lower your left side of the hips down again. Elevate your scapula and then retract. Act strong. Stay here. Inhale. Sink down and come further, deeper. Exhale, lower, lower, lower down. Inhale, stay there. And then exhale, hands down. Lift your right knee up. Exhale, back to flank. Inhale, knees down. Exhale, chest down. Slide to the front again. Point your ankle, hands beside your ribs or your chest. Lift your shoulders up. Scapula retraction. Inhale, lift your chest up back to cobra. Remember when you do cobra, lift up from your chest, not your shoulders. And strong. Chest back into the floor. Exhale, inhale, come back up, plank. Exhale, back to Adamuka Shwanasana. Hmm. Now from Adamuka Shwanasana, step your left leg to the front again. Lower your right knee back into the floor. Inhale, reach your arms up again, up high. I think before it was like right hand to the left side of the floor. No, no, no. Yes. <laughs> inhale, shoulders up. Exhale, arms away from the head. Inhale, exhale, sinking your left buttocks down even further more. Keeping your belly away from the left side of your back. Inhale, hold on here. And exhale, hands back to the floor. Inhale, lift your right knee up. And exhale, step your right foot to the front. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana, gaze forward. Exhale, fold Uttanasana. Now try to clasp your elbows for a moment there. Clasp your elbows in your Uttanasana. In your eyes, gaze back. Hover your head for a moment there. Stay there for a while. Now you can always bend the knees. So your, your belly and your thighs are together there. You need to keep them together to relax your low back. Stay there in three more breaths. Two more breaths. One last breath. Now release the hands from the clasp. Inhale, look forward, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, hands towards your waist. Inhale, all the way up. And just stand up in your... Ta-da! Okay. Now lower your knees back into the floor again for a moment here. Back to the kneeling position. And then go get your towel again, everyone. So finding your towel again here. And then see that uh, if you use your towel, the teeth and the other tip of your towel. Use that. And then if your knees hurt, you can always fold your mat if you don't have, um, if you don't bring your towel right now, you can just fold your mat. Or you can, if you, if you have your big towel with you, put your towel under your knees so you won't hurt your knee. So from here, then going to add it, and then I'm going to repeat the thing that we did before again. Bring the hands to the front again. And remember, pelvic floor, corset muscle angle. Arms to the front, lift it up again. And then do what? Elevate your scapula and then reach back. Retract your scapula, bring the, the strap or your towel towards the next side of your head. And feel the chest open here. Not just on your chest, but also on the upper back. Feel your upper back really, really engaging there. Stay there, two more breaths. One last. And then bring it back to center and let go. Right, preparation for shoulder flexion. And then the next thing you have to um, see that the hips, the hips in back then should be extended. So you need to be like pushing the hips in the front. Now, everyone touch the hips with your hands. Put your towel down first. Put your hands towards the front side of your hips like this. And then push the hips to the front towards your palms. And then see that when you push the hips to the front, feel your glutes really, really working there. Your buttocks muscle. This muscle really, really working, okay? Feel it, Papa? Yeah. <laughs> He's sweating already. <laughs> Back to center. And push forward again. My victim. My husband is my victim today. And then come back to center. And when you push the head to the front, really like engage your abs. Okay? This is, should be active to protect your low back. And I always said in my class that movement is a Michael Jackson build movement. <laughs> so remember, always remember that. So put your hands back to the front side of your hips again. 
It don't ever ever do this kind of cobra, guys. You're gonna need to press the shoulders down, lift your chest up like booty, push it from your chest. Stay there in two more breaths. Feel the heart open. One last and chest back into the floor. And stop there for a moment. Now bend both sides of your knees. Bend your knees. So this is like the best part in back bend. I really love this one. So point your ankle and keep your big toes together here. Point your ankle and keep your toes up in Dandurasana. Keep up. Lift up your thighs first. Lift your thighs up. Feel your buttocks and your hamstring working down. So keep your toes up till your thigh and your front thigh lifted from the floor. Stay there in two more breaths. Keep your hands stay on the floor. One last and let go. Okay, rest for a moment. Hmm. So, how are you, Coco? Good. Good? <laughs> how are you guys? Are you guys okay? I hope you guys are okay. So, now this time we're going to combine the retraction and then the extension of the hips. Bend the knees again, do the same thing as before. Good, good. And then before you lift the front thigh up from the floor, do the scapula movement first. Lift, elevate your scapula, retract, lift your chest up. Now this time, option one, you can keep your palms stay on the floor, touching the floor. Option two, lift your palms up from the floor. Angkat lapak tangan yang option two. Feel the upper back is working down. And any hips extension, Michael Jackson deal. Lift your toes up, 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 up. Lift your thighs up from the floor. Feel the Michael Jackson deal. Feel your boots really working down in three. Extra, two more breath. Stay there. One last, and let go. Okay. Now come back to downward facing dog again. Back to Adam Prashanasana. Finding your wall again, guys. Stay on your wall until the end. Stay in two more breaths here. One last breath. Now walk your feet forward towards your hands. Back to Uttanasana. Yes. Inhale, look forward, Ardha Uttanasana. So you can always bend the knees slightly so you can extend your lower back here. Exhale, fold forward again into Uttanasana. And keeping your belly and your thighs together. Now inhale, coming up, we're going to start to deep breath. Then exhale, stand up into Tadasana. So we're going to come back to, to the wall. And then we will do um, Katasana with wall. Everyone's favorite pose, right? <laughs> so bottom, move back towards the wall. And then stand against the wall like this. Open your feet as wide as your shoulders. And then slowly bend the knees. And feel your thighs far out of the floor. Then, from this position, keeping your knee in the line with your ankle, like in Anjali Asana. So you're going to do strengthen, strengthening the front side of your thigh, the thigh muscle. And then forget to the core active, corset muscle active. And make sure that the low back is not touching the wall to keep the spine neutral. Now from here, reach your arms up again, up into this Utkatasana position. Stay here for a moment in five breaths. Hold on here and smile. Four more breaths, extra. Three more breaths, hold on there. Two more breaths here, guys. Hold up, hold up. One last breath here. Hands back onto the side of your body. And lift your body up, straighten the knee for a moment and rest for a while here. Okay, the good news is we're going to do it one more time. <laughs> okay, Papa, are you okay? Okay, yeah? <laughs> okay, so do it again once again. Everyone's ready? I'm sure you guys are ready. So let's do it again. Bend your knees again. And then keeping your knee and your ankle in one line. Up, stop. Reach your arms up again. Stay there in your good katasana. And keeping your, your ankle and your knee in one line. In five. Stay there. Four. Smile, Papa. Three. Keep your ribs in. Two more breaths. Stay there. One last. And hands beside your body first. Push the wall and straighten the knees. Yeah. Then walk your feet back and then rest for a moment in this position. Hmm. Rest for 
rest for a while. And I'm going to add in the, the high lunge. Now, everyone, lower your knees back into the floor again. Open. Huh? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Bentar ya. Ada yang mati kokoh, kneeling position for a moment there. So, stay in your kneeling position. Kokoh aja deh, gitu Okay, so you can watch this watch me. So, stay in your kneeling position. And everyone, put your hands back onto the floor. And then, lift your knees up, back into plank pose again. So, I really, really love plank pose these days. Stay there in plank, in three more breaths. Add strong. Two more breaths. One last. And back to Adho Mukha Shwakasana. Downward facing up. And from down up, step your right foot to the front. In between the head. And then keeping your left knee off from the floor this time. Push your back to the side. Now put your hands towards your waist. Lift your, lift your body up. Your ampat. And then put your hands towards your waist. First. And then here. Okay. So. And don't forget to do what? Michael Jackson feel. Engage the left side of your glutes. Add strong. Then reach your arms up for a moment here. For just two more breaths here. One up as One last breath. Hands back onto the floor. And back to Adam Pashwanasana. And that's the second side. Step your left leg to the front. And then slowly come back up. Hands towards your waist for a moment. And then see your alignment first. Keeping your back leg as straight as flat, push your right foot back. <laughs> Engage the right side of your glutes to add more extension from the right side of the hips. Then reach your arms up into crescent lunge. Stay there in two more breaths here. In your abs down. One last breath in this position. Hands back onto the floor. Step back again. Now we will up. Shwanasana down and facing up position. Stay down up for a while. Keep the wall with you. Stay there in two more breaths. One last. And then slowly lower your knees back into the floor for a moment. And then let's combine the crescent lunge with the towel like we did before. Like this one. Okay? So let's do it again. Prepare your towel. So you can put your towel or your strap around your neck like this. So you need to grab it again and just like you heard around your neck. And then from here, step your right foot to the front again. So again, option number one, you can always use your knees again. You can do with your knees again. Option number two, this time lift your left knee off from the floor. Push your left foot back. Mm -hmm. Then put your hands back and towards your waist. Sinking your right buttocks down even further. Engage your left side of your glutes to, to add more extension from the left side of the hips. Sink down further more, lift your arms up, elevate your scapula, retract, and then slowly start to touch the wall behind you. Then maybe gaze up, or maybe gaze back. Do your best. Stay there in four, sink down more, up, up. three, reach back more, two, abs more strong, one, and hands down, and then step your right leg back. Into down facing up for a minute. Back to down up. And remember, when you feel like this is too hard or you feel tired, you can always rest whenever you like. This is your practice, not my practice. So do your best. So do the other side. Step your left leg forward. Now, keeping your ankle and your knee in one line again. And then lift your right knee off on the floor. Put your, put your strap around your neck again. Lift your leg knee up and slow to your first. And really like straighten the back leg. Yeah, really, really straighten the back side of your leg. Keep your right side of your glutes active and do Michael Jackson feel. Feel hips extension. Then lift your arms up with your strap. Before you go back, elevate your scapula. Retract and retract, retract. You can always just gaze up for, for easy option. Stay there in five, open your chest more. Four, listen to your breath. Three, enjoy your breath. Two, and then let go, hands down. And back to downward facing dog. Again, stay 
Adam and Hush one is enough. You push your palms away from the floor. You can get your abs. Two more breaths here. One last. Then lower your knees back onto the floor again. And lower your chest back onto the floor. Now bend the knees again. As before. Now when you bend the knees, keeping your feet together. So keep the inner edge of your feet together. Or just the big toes together is also fine. Now from here, go grab your ankle or your foot with both hands. Get to bend your last Are you ready, Papa? <laughs> and from here, from this position, remember to elevate your scapula, retract, Michael Jackson feel, come to Michael Jackson feel, guys, and keep your toes up, inhale, the next go, kick back as far as you can, good job, Papa, inhale, kick up, exhale, kick back, in two, inhale, kick up, again, exhale, back, in three, last one, inhale, kick up, exhale, back, in four, and come back down. Rest for a while. Maybe you can look to the right or go to the left. Stay there for a moment. Think two more breaths. Two more breaths. And one last. And then the next one is lay down on your back. The next one is lay down, lay down on your back. But it's not so fast enough, guys. Okay, but we happy yet. We still have more preparation for Urdhvada Nulasana. So from here, from this position, you can touch your finger, find your heels with your fingers, and open your feet as wide as your shoulders. And keeping your feet parallel like when you do Tadasana. Okay? So you don't turn up your toes to the sides. And from here, bend your elbows like robot arm. And then from this, don't forget before you go up, activate your pelvic floor, corset muscle active, then lift your buttocks up. As you lift your buttocks up, do Michael Jackson feel. <laughs> and engage your glutes more. Then you roll your shoulders in and do the scapular retraction. Feel the scapular retraction there. Interlace your fingers under your back. Lift up as high as you could and your eyes gaze up. And when you do this, Try to draw your knee towards your face. So draw your knees towards your face and your hips up to the sky. And you can feel it really like strong energy, strong engagement on the back side of your body there. Stay there in three. Keep your abs strong and active. Two more breaths there. One last. And slowly, slowly let go. And don't hold your thighs, okay? Not holding your thighs yet. Just rest. Rest your spine without holding your thighs. If you still want to go back then, do not hold your thighs. Okay? Stay here. Relax for a moment. We're going to do one more time. Reach. Okay, let's do it again. Move the feet closer again towards your buttocks. Bend your elbows again like robot arm. Before you go up, preparing your knee core first. Pelvic floor, corset muscle, then lift your buttocks up. And then we go in, bring the shoulders in, and interlace your fingers again. And when you do this position, try to think about this. Drawing your knees towards your chest. So draw your knees towards your chest. Push your, push your hips up to the sky. And do Michael Jackson feel. Keep your corset muscle working there. Eyes gaze up. Stay in four. Hold on in three. Two more breaths. One last. And let go again. And don't hold your thighs again. Stay for a while. <sighs> this is so tiring. I know. And. Roll over to one side and sit back for a moment here. Okay, so I want Coco to, uh, to bring uh, my camera close to me and so people can see me what I'm going to do for the next one. Could you? Yeah, just bring it close. And I'm getting closer. Hi, everyone. So the next one is we're going to do Urdhva Dhanurasana with the wall. 
So for option number one, you can always come back to your bridge, the, the, the previous one, the easy one. Or you can always just rest and just watch. <laughs> okay, so the next one is we're going to do Urdhva Dhanurasana with wall. So you're going to turn your palm, your, your fingers face to the sides. Usually you do, you do kayang like this, right? Now this time you're going to bring your fingers face to the sides. So can you bring the camera close to my body, uh, to my hands, so everyone can see what's going on with my hands? Yes. And then see that, see my hands position here? So my inner edge, my pinky finger are close to the wall like this. And my head touching the wall. And then look at my legs position, my, my, like my legs position. My feet are open as wide as my shoulders and keeping my toes face to the front. And then before I go up, I'm activating my pelvic floor and my deep core, my ass. And then I lift my hips up, right? My, my face stays up. Keep my, my projection field on here. And then I lift my head with my crown head down. Before I lift all of my, uh, my head off from the floor, I do retraction, retract my scapula, then I lift my head up from the floor, and then I gaze down to the floor. For those who are flexible enough to do this further, then walk your hands close to the wall, and closer, and you can look towards the wall. You can always find your way, your own, and how to go back is Walk your legs to the front again, and lower down. Okay, so let's do it together. Let's do it again. <laughs> so, let's do it together in this position. So from here, bring the crown head close to the wall. Whew. My head, my hair mess up, mess up. And bring, my, bring the outer edge of your hands to the wall. Bring the feet closer towards your glutes. Before you go up, how the core active, cross-step muscle active. And slowly lift your butt, lift your hips up. That's strong. And then lift your head off from the floor. Put the crown head down. Then before you go up, you track your scapula. Then you push it up. You can always stay where you are, or if you need to go deeper, bring the chest closer again to the wall, your eyes face the floor, chest towards the wall again. You can always do like booty to stay whatever you like. And you can always lift your heels up like, heels up like him. Stay there in three. You can always lift your heels up to edit more elbow, elbow more, more lengthening. Two, stay there. One. And lower down. Walk your feet forward first, maybe before you go down. And go down for a while. And don't hold your thighs yet. Do not hold your thighs yet. Keep your knees bent, maybe, or you can just straighten the legs to the front. How do you feel, Papa? Good. <laughs> Rest for a moment. So actually. We are almost done, so if you're not done yet with your practice, you can always edit headstand in this practice. This also can be headstand or your pincha, or maybe you can edit vipada viparita dandasana. This is vipada viparita dandasana. You can always do this one to edit more poses on your practice. Or you can always add a pincha. Can you do pincha, Papa? So Papa will show pincha with the wall. Just do it with the wall. Put your palms onto the wall. Like the pincha preparation, if you like, put your forearm down onto the floor, open your elbow 
as far as your shoulders. And see that your elbow and your knee is like maybe five finger, the, the space. And then come up, knees up, dolphin. And come up to pincha. Yeah. You can always do with knee straight, point your ankle to find your easy balance. Or maybe you can find balance there in your pincha. So, Yeah. 